Hey folks, this is my video for increasing the storage space on your Surface tablets. Now this will work with the Surface RT, uh, all, the, all the Surface Pros and the normal Surface itself. It will work with uh, the RT versions um, and it will work with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. And the, f the first thing, I'll, I'll just get, get this out of the way anyway, but the first thing you should do obviously to get more storage space is to uninstall any programs that you know you feel you don't need anymore. And to get a micro SD card, like you can get like a 64 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra one. Uh, the SanDisk uh, Ultra versions are uh, actually really quite good uh, SD cards, and you're best to get a Category 10. But the SanDisk Ultra is a Category 10 one. But if you if you think you know you, if there's a brand you like SD cards, then just get a, try and get a Category 10 one because they are the fastest ones you'll get. But they are a little bit more expensive. Now the second thing you can do folks is you can get a program called Winderstat which uh, I'll, I'll have a link in the description of where to get it. Now this is a totally fine uh, program, I've been using it for a while, I use it on my desktop as well and it, basically what it'll do is it'll basically show where all the, the storage, you know, where, where everything's being used in what like folders or what drives are being filled up by the most kind of things like certain like it'll show like program files it'll show like such and such a percentage of what's being used and the actual size of what's being used in it and where it is and you can open up these individual folders and uh, show what's in it and then delete whatever you want if you don't need anything but the thing I'd you know, do before I go into this is anything in the Windows folder just leave anything in the Windows folder because it's all like related to the operating system so just leave any of that if there's anything that you actually don't know what you're going to be deleting then just just leave it. There's no point in trying to delete something that you don't know exactly what it is because you'll just come into issues later on. So all you do is just click on the program and it'll open up and all you do is just click on the C drive or whatever drive, it should be the C drive that you're using and just click OK and that'll take you into this and then I'll just kind of start going through finding out where all the space is being used. You'll see the little Pac-Man faces, it'll be finding out where, you know, where all the uh, your storage is being used by and what it's being used by itself. As you can see now, we'll go into the Windows folder. Anything in the Windows folder, just leave, just ignore all of that. That's, you know, there's no point deleting anything out of that because it'll just cause you issues. A lot of it's uh, related to the operating system and stuff like that and uh, registry files. So just totally ignore that altogether. Into my users, go into my, my own folder. And then as you can see, 13.6 gigabytes is being used by the art folder. That's just where I keep my how to's for uh, art and stuff like that. And it'll show you the percentage of the folder that it's in, what it's using, and then the percentage of it in users. And then it'll show you the user's percentage in program files. So it'll show you what kind of percentage it's using of your drive. And you can go into program files. As you can see, Steam is taking up a lot of mine. So I've got 102.2 gigabytes uh, files uh, in there. And that's taking up 64.6% .6 of the program files. Uh, folder and that's taken up 75% of my drive itself and you can just go and you know if I'll go into the Steam apps I'll just show you common go into Bioshock Infinite you know that's taking up 100% of that Bioshock Infinite's taking up 39 gigabytes and uh, Skyrim's taking up 14.6 so you know Bioshock's taking up a big percentage uh, of my actual drive itself so all you, all you can do is you just right click on them and click open and then it'll take you into the actual individual folders itself. So if you if you find something that you want to delete, you know, you can just open it up and then just delete it through that. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to find out what's taking up a lot of the space in your drives. Right now, I'll just show you how to reduce the usage size uh, of your system restore point. So that you, you'll, it'll basically give you fewer system restore points, but it'll use less space on the drive because uh, your, your drive basically gets allocated with, you know, a certain percentage of the full size of drive, you know, it'll be, make it like 5% of your drive will be put for using like system restores. So you can reduce that down and that'll save you a few gig depending on how big it already is. And I'll just show you how to do that. So you just go to uh, right click on the start menu and go to control panel, system and security. Just go into system and then up to system protection and that'll take you onto this and you'll see your Windows C drive, that is the one that will usually be for your uh, system restores unless you change it yourself. And you can see my current usage is only 36.3 uh, megabyte, that's because I've already deleted my system restore points. But you can you can move the the dial up and down to you know to have as much or as little as you like. I'll put mine down to like 5%, so that's 11.59 gigabytes. So you can delete all your system restore points basically delete all the system restore points for you 
you can do that and you'll know and that'll free up a lot of space if you do that and then reduce the max usage size down to like something like three percent or whatever and then that'll basically you know give you a lower kind of figure and it'll give you like putting it down to three percent i saved myself about four gigabytes altogether which i mean for like the surface rt or anything like that it's a fair amount of space so you know especially for the rt versions because you usually get them in uh, 32 gigabyte and 64 Now we'll go on to uh, showing you how to create a recovery drive on a USB. So instead of having it on your actual, uh, like your C drive or like your SSD on your Surface, you can put it onto a USB, you know, that'll save you a fair bit of space, amount of space. For the Pro versions, it usually takes up about 7 gig, and for the Surface ones, I think it's about 3 gig. So, you you know, you're, you're better off with like about like an 8 or like 16 gigabyte USB drive. Um, to just make sure that you haven't got any files on it before you do any of this because it will have to format the drive uh, before you go ahead and uh, put the uh, the recovery partition onto it. So just make sure you've got anything that you know you want to save, take it off it or even just back it up or put it somewhere safe. Um, I would probably wouldn't advise doing this if you lose things a lot because if you lose the USB drive that has the recovery partition on it, uh, you'll be in a bit of trouble because it'll no longer be on. Uh, your system, but you can have it on both. You can you can not delete the recovery partition that's on the C drive, and also have it on the USB drive. But you know, it's, it's kind of a bit pointless. You, the only reason, real reason to do it is if you're wanting more space and you want to delete the one that's on the, uh, the SSD. But if you, uh, as I said, if you do lose stuff quite a lot and you lose the USB drive, you're going to be in a bit of trouble because you won't be able to, uh, you know, wipe your your surface basically if you go sell it again or whatever like that you know you will be in a bit of trouble it'll be a bit of a major hassle to try and uh, get it restored again but uh, anyway i'll just go into this all you have to do is just go down and swipe from the right of the screen you go into search and that'll take you into this menu and all you have to do is just just type in recovery and that'll take you to well it'll show you the menu for uh, create a recovery drive if you just click on that it might take a you know a few seconds for you to actually get into it Usually it takes a few seconds to load up. Right, here we go. So, I, I, just, I just do you just check that, copy the recovery partition from the PC to the recovery drive, which will be the USB drive that you're going to be using. And then I'll say, please wait, and you just wait for this. And it'll take you onto the menu to pick a USB drive that you've got plugged in. So, there we go. Right, so I've got uh, my, you can put it on the SD card, which is my E drive. Uh, but I've got the F, which is a, a SanDisk uh, Cruiser, which is a uh, 32 gigabit, I believe it is. Um, no, it's 64, sorry, I'm talking crap. Uh, so you can just go into that and just click Next. So make sure that's definitely the right drive that you're wanting to change in case you do the wrong one. And it'll tell you that you, it'll delete all the files on it because it has the format. So just make sure that everything's backed up before this point. And it'll usually take about 10-15 minutes before it'll, you know, it'll be totally finished because it does take about 10-15 minutes for it to do it. So, um, you know, it, it will take a little bit of time. So once it's done all that, it'll take you on to this little menu and it'll say, do you want to delete the recovery partition? And that'll delete the, uh, the recovery partition that's on the SSD. Uh, so, you know, for the, the Pro, it'll save you about 7 gig and for the RT, it'll save you about 3 to 4 gig. Uh, once you delete it, so you know it's 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 a bit of space if you really are after that space. But as I said before, if you use if you lose that USB drive, uh, you'll be in a world of shit because it'll be a bit of a hassle to get that restored again afterwards. I'll just show you how to do a disk cleanup, uh, and that'll basically get rid of like old Windows updates and like outdated drivers and like system uh, error, like memory dumps, all that kind of stuff. All things that you know, if you've got a smooth running uh, surface, uh, if you've got, if you've had like no uh, uh, blue screens of death or anything like that, if you've had no issues with it whatsoever, then I definitely do this and get rid of all the old drivers that you no longer need, uh, because that'll save you a, a fair amount of space. Now I've, uh, I did this not too long ago, so it shouldn't be that big for me. But some people have like, uh, you know, after they've done it, you know, you can save yourself like about three, four gig or like a couple of gig, depending on uh, how much uh, you've got. So I'll just show you how to do that. All you have to do is uh, right click on the start menu, go to control panel, system and security, and uh, it's in the administration tools, uh, free up disk space. And I'll take it that and that'll just, it, this this one just basically goes through the, all your programs and that'll show you like thumbnails and temporary internet files, all that kind of stuff like, but that doesn't give you a lot. So click on uh, clean up system files. 
and it'll do it again uh, for your like drivers and all that kind of stuff it'll show you how much space they're actually using well that took me a couple of minutes anyway to do that but that's probably because uh, I'm recording so uh, the computer will be a little bit slower but anyway as, as you look at it now you can see like Windows Update Cleanup it's 141 uh, megabytes and if you go down like thumbnails 9 device driver packages that'll be like copies of like previous drivers all that kind of stuff and that'll be copies of like uh, all the installed updates that are on your system so you can just uh, you know whatever you want to get rid of I'd leave the Windows Defender stuff or anything like that system queued uh, Windows error report and you can get rid of that as well you know if you know if they've been used or anything like that you know if you sent all your error reports you can just get rid of them so just click OK you sure you want to permanently delete this file so the, the total amount of space you will gain 572 megabytes but that's just mine you know you could get a couple of gig uh, depending on if you've ever done it or like how much updates you've or you know how long you've had the computer for so you just go to delete files and that'll delete uh, all the files now we'll just go ahead and show you how you can disable hibernation mode uh, on your computer actually uh, I'll do a quick explanation of what it is uh, compared to sleep. Sleep is the other kind of power saving uh, mode that you can get uh, as well as hybrid sleep but uh, I'll tell you what hibernation is. Basically hibernation is a power saving uh, mode that mostly used by laptops and it's while like sleep puts your work and your programs and all that kind of stuff into memory it, and uh, still draws a little bit of power to kind of conserve battery life hibernation will put it like uh, your documents or your programs on the hard disk to and to you know save uh, power and switch off uh, the computer so that when you open up again from hibernation mode you power on your computer again it'll open up uh, with the same programs and all that still you know running or whatever uh, it's basically just a power save mode and you can disable it I mean if, you, if you're not wanting that feature you know it's, it's a good way of disabling it and saving yourself uh, a, a fair amount of space like my, I think my one's about like six, six gig or something but it, it varies so uh, I'll show you in uh, Winderstat uh, what it actually well what size it is I'll just give you a quick kind of show of how big it can usually be just to show you so that's a uh, window start finish for that so I'll just go into files and in files it should show you the hibernation file which is hyperfile uh, hyperfile dot uh, sys and that's taken up 6.3 gigabytes uh, of the files uh, partition in the drive so it's, it's 6.3 gigabytes of um, you know th that's taken away from uh, my C drive so I mean I, I don't use hibernation at all so it's really no point in me keeping it there it's, it's extra space that you know I could be using the page file one is uh, it's, it's basically just it uses your hard drive kind of like RAM but you just leave that I mean that it does take up a wee bit of space depending on uh, what size of RAM you've got in your surface if it's 4 gig or 8 gig it's usually it's usually about like uh, like one and a half times the size of uh, your RAM so like if it's 4 gig it will be like 6 gigabyte will be the will be the page file size so but it's it, you, you kind of need it uh, so just I'll just uh, leave that I'll show you now how to disable uh, the hibernation so I'll just go ahead and show you how to disable hibernation if you do want to disable it what you need to do is uh, swipe from the right of the screen go to search type in CMD come up with a command prompt but there just right click run as administrator click yes right now you'll get this so power CFG just type this in dot exe dash hibernate off and now the hibernate should be off so if I go ahead and go into window start again you'll be able to see that the hibernation file will no longer be there and I'll have saved about like six gigabytes of uh, space on my drive so as you can see, right, that's me into this now. So if we go into files again, and you can see now that the only thing there that's actually using up a lot of space is the page file, and the hibernation file is no longer there. Uh, so uh, that's that's basically that, guys. So just uh, I'll go ahead and have a little chat to you about uh, OneDrive and how to use it. I mean, with a lot of the uh, Windows Surface tablets, you'll get a uh, kind of like a code that comes with it that will give you like free space on OneDrive and it's quite a good thing for uh, using especially if you've got wherever you go with it like your Surface you can use it to get data from OneDrive so that you can use it anywhere kind of as long as you've got an internet connection so it's quite a good thing especially for you know saving space if you don't have a lot of space so basically I'll show you how to make uh, OneDrive online only 
uh, so that I mean if you make it offline as well it'll save the files onto your computer so you know that'll take up space I mean if you've got quite a big like one drive let's say like a 20 gigabyte one you know and you've got like 20 gigabyte you know worth of stuff that's 20 gigabit on your drive that you may not need if you've got an inter internet connection wherever you're going you know you, you won't really need to have it on uh, the drive as well kind of makes a uh, one drive a bit pointless really if you're not going to be you know using the online feature of it you know it kind of makes it a bit pointless if you're just keeping it on your drive so we'll go ahead and show you that so you just click on uh, well this pc or you just go on uh, my computer and all you have to do is you'll see one drive over here if you right click that and make available online only and only and that'll make it just available online so right, i've got nothing on my OneDrive with really. i hardly use it but um so make available online only and that'll make it you know you can only use it online and i'll show you you can make it available offline and it'll show the availability available offline available offline so that's that done right so i'll make it available online and that'll save some space right now you can go ahead and go to properties if you're wanting to move your OneDrive. Yeah, let's say you want to move it on to like your SD card or whatever. Let's say you want to keep the stuff there instead of keeping it on the C C drive. Right. You can move it to let's say right, so if you go into the properties and go to location and go to move, you can move it to let's say you can move it to your your uh, SD card. But you'll have to make sure that the SD card is formatted because it doesn't work with uh, 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 fat. It, you'll basically have to format it to uh, NAT so if I select that folder right it obviously it should come up with a warning telling me that it needs to be formatted because I don't have it formatted to NAT uh, NTFS sorry so it's like please choose a folder on a drive that's formatted with the NTFS file system so if you're wanting to do it you'll have to make sure that the SD card or whatever you're moving your OneDrive to is a uh, NTFS and that's quite easy to do you can just go to right click on it and go to format and just go to file system NTFS click that and just click start and that'll do a quick format and put it in NTFS form. Uh, anyway guys, I'd just like to say if you did enjoy this video or if you, you, know, you found this at all helpful, if you could please like and subscribe and favourite, it would be greatly appreciated because it took me a fair amount of editing and kind of playing about with this to get this footage all done and you know, I thought it would be kind of helpful because there's a lot of guys out there who seem to have kind of storage issues with their surface so I thought it would maybe helpful to anyone who's using it and if you could uh, check out my other videos it would be greatly appreci uh, appreciated. Anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching and take care.